I love that. <laughs> Almost like, is there any other group of, like, mecha pilots who'd be dumb enough to just go rushing through the door? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad hair. Yes. So now the seven these demons are trying to fight the uh, reclaimers. Let's see how that goes. Oh, this is gonna be good. Maybe he has a uh, he has like a piece on on his throat. Maybe. I mean, there are those devices that allow people to talk uh, like that. I mean, he has the biggest chance. Right. His, tax, his tactics are uh, first to confuse them endlessly. Or his pockets. <laughs> They're like, why is he... Why is he holding his hands in... in isn't that incon just not convenient? <laughs> That's assuming he opened the cockpit of his barracks. Y yes. Just to show them. <laughs> yes. And he just stands there and they're <laughs> all confused. <laughs> but yeah, now we're fighting on top of the Oh, sweet. So wait, uh, if you don't have air units, they're stuck on top of a orphan. Pretty much. Well, that's actually pretty neat. So let's see. Gotta have them as your crew to be deployed. Uh, eh, he may end up here all the time. Uh, you know, we haven't used. M9. Ever, did we ever get uh, uh, Pontacoon? We did. Oh. But I'm not using him for because nah, I used bad. him last run. Sorry to mm. I can move with that.
also a healer lady. So it's always good to have another one of them. Mm-hmm. By the way, it is a perfectly viable strategy on this stage if you want to sit back and just let the two sides kill each other. However, if you do that, you learn out that you lose out on precious EXP and money, so... We're gonna have to... Yeah, and it's not like we don't have more than we can use. Right. We actually don't, considering that I, uh, used it on Kime. Yes, but... I mean, what, are, what else are you going to upgrade? Evo. So, since these guys like to reduce people and SP, we're gonna kill them. And plus, you know, Jonathan's a cool guy. He's just kinda crazy. He's awesome. He's your husband. Mm-hmm. some people around uh, Amsterdam
And since I'm going to Amsterdam, I have one store that I want to check out. That's uh, uh, in Amsterdam. There is uh, there is like this one really awesome store with. Uh, uh, retro consoles and stuff like that, so they may actually have uh, a memory card for the bloody mm, Sega Saturn. I need one because the Sega Saturn is essentially a ticking bomb when it comes to saves. And it's nice and all that they give me the option to save everything onto, uh, onto my system memory. It's not nice that the system memory dies when the battery runs out. Although there is one way to go about it, pretty reliably. You just don't unhook your Saturn and then the battery will not die. I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, quite honestly, I don't really want to unhook it simply because uh, I may by accident uh, plug it with a different cable and that would be disastrous because it's uh, the one I have is a Japanese model which it uses the same flimsy uh, electrical system as you Americans do uh, which means that if I connected it normally to uh, uh, one of my other cables, because it has like one of those standardized, uh, you know, two plugs, same as the PlayStation 2 or whatever. It, it would like, it, it would explode likely. Because the electricity in Europe is a, like, uh, the voltage is uh, more than twice as high. Yeah, so I have a special piece uh, that connects it. And that is also the reason why I never unplug it. And I still need a memory card because... For god knows what reason, uh, certain games just take up god knows how much space. Like you have... I... Oh, he may. Main character power. Uh, not bad. Mm hmm. But yeah, like the. There is like, I think, 4 megabytes of system memory, or like 2 megabytes. It's actually plenty for, uh, for an old console like that. But. Uh, for God knows what reason, Nights into Dreams take up, uh, takes up like half of the system memory. We just won't save. It's more than most PS2 games do. And I mean, at least most PS2 games were pretty reasonable, considering how you have how you had eight megabytes to work with. Unless they were Bujing Guy, the Swordmaster, whatever it was called in America. It, where it used, where it used, uh, I think the uh, like one and a half megabyte for its memory, and it's just an action game. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Final Fantasy X or Tales of the Abyss uses up like what, fifty, uh, fifty or five hundred kilobytes. I think like, like Tales of the Abyss in particular uses like tiny amounts, I remember, which is surprising that they got that right, considering how much how, uh, how much of a mess the whole rest is. Yeah. Um, it's magical. The, like, the more you dwell into the tales of game design, you find more things that are just, like, wondrous. Oh, yeah. Like, like the fact that it, when you run the game from the hard drive, which is a function that you could do, like, you know, it, well... You could do that officially, you didn't need to, like, pirate it or anything. They, so, they should have kind of sort of thought about that, but I'm um, not gonna be too... 
I'm not gonna judge them too badly for that simply because after 2003 they kind of forgot that was that, that was ever a feature in any uh, in any version of the PS2. Right. Um, but like when you try to play Tales of the Abyss off of the hard drive, it uh, it may randomly lock up if you don't have uh, if you don't have uh, reading delay set on to a certain amount of time. That's however that's not uh, that's not too uncommon. However, what uh, what's worse is and that cannot be fixed uh, by any of the compatibility modes which is uh, the sound in the game is horrifyingly messed up uh, when you when you run it from the hard drive like sound effects stop playing uh, there is no world map music uh, like sometimes sound eff uh, sound effects work and sometimes they don't. It's complete mess, which surprisingly and uh, like ran like it's super random, but it gets fixed if you force the game into 480p with GSM, specifically with GSM, because there are other means of doing that. However, they don't yield the same results of fixing that issue. How do you like? It begs a question. What what does? It, how can it fix? How can changing resolution fix audio? It's me. He just bitch slapped him. Yeah, you're like yeah, my face. I mean, when it uh, when it's like some. Uh, when it's like some visual issues, like for example when you try to play Tales of Legendia and the, it turns off the frame limiter on it. I mean that's understandable because uh, it's just like just the way they uh, they synced everything up was based off of the uh, based off of the I I don't exactly remember how how it's based off, but essentially. Or GSM disables the process that lets them time everything. Uh, so it's uh, it just uh, it just everything runs at as fast as it allows it at the moment. It's the same is the same issue with uh, Persona 3 and I believe also 4 because they're pretty much the exact same game. And I've also seen it in uh, Blood Will Tell. Uh, it, it's hilarious. Because like when you... Uh, like for the most part, it will actually run the exact same way as it, uh, as it does uh, when you play it normally. Uh, because like the game just, just can't run any faster. However, when you look at a field that's completely empty, it's uh, your main character suddenly runs at like four times the speed. It's uh, it's, it's just hilarious. Wow, that was such a menacing attack. It's like I was watching the Vesperia movie. Okay, not that bad. I mean, okay, if, it, if this was the Vesperia movie, he would be moving backwards. Yes. The Vesperia movie. First snore. This wasn't even my final form. Pretty much. Now I'm even slower than I was before. You'll never catch me. That would be something. 
like have it actually be a thing that he is so slow that he cannot be touched by anybody. Wasn't Sasuke kind of damaged? No. Yes. I mean, it's one picture, but it's like two frames. Just to actually react. Unless we have, we have to destroy. If I fight a boss, can you be killed? You know? Oh, they the all of them are lined up so perfectly into a line piece. Almost. Well, well the L piece. But it's very close to a line piece. Now they're all going to go in this direction. And the line and the L piece is going to be destroyed. Dark general guy, and then you have the fucking brain power team playing. That's that's just beautiful. So peaceful. So much better than the actual enemy. Oh, that did nothing. Everyone just... 
Keith, what do you think of the list for Cross and Mega? Because I'm going to probably take down. I didn't think of these guys as a team. Yeah, I don't know. That's... Mm. I guess since they appear for like two stages at yeah, the they, end. They didn't bother, yeah. You know, we haven't seen Fire Blaster in a long time. Let's look at it. Just as deadly as it Just as deadly as it was before. God damn it, Bobby.
I don't get why Great Flicker is such an energy hog either. I mean, isn't he like super gigantic? I mean, I guess that's why he became a Kaiser. I guess so. That's cute.
Moves slightly to the left works every time. Finally. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this this is this is so over.
Totally. Still more mooks. Don't they ever learn? Uh, it's almost sad.
Chris actually did damage. Ooh. Hmm. For Vulcans. Oh, Jesus. They actually did damage. Good lord. The Desco can dodge. Wow. No, right. right. It, it's just, just. Big, it's so big. Uh, yeah, Vulcans.
Mm. Magic. Is she the same as she was before, or is she stronger? He's a little stronger. <laughs> She's certainly more dodgy. Mm-hmm. 